DeepSeek is out with their new vision model, which is VL2. Now, this is an advanced series of large language models that are mixture of experts. Now, I have already talked about mixture of experts on my YouTube channel. You can go through that. But to summarize what a mixture of expert is, is basically it's going to decide which small portion of the model is the expert of the problem it's facing at the moment and then it's going to pass that problem to that specific expert this way it increases the efficiency and the speed of the model so let's not talk much about the mixture of expert but to summarize it it's a big achievement in the vision language models so basically DeepSeek vl2 has three variants one is the tiny one the small one and the regular vl so the tiny one has 1 billion parameters activated as for the small one has 2.8 billion parameters activated and the regular one has 4.5 billion parameters activated. Now you can go to their GitHub repo which is right here. We're going to be talking about this later on but for now you can get a quick start from their hugging face as well. Just go ahead and use this example and you can pretty much get started with this VL2 model. And this is completely open source which is the best part about DeepSeek as their models are really powerful and open source. Now for those of you who prefer GitHub, you can go to their GitHub page and you can see here they have the link to the actual paper that got released quite some time ago. But now we have the actual demo which is right here on this hugging face space. I'm really excited to test this new model out. But before diving into the testing, you can see the benchmarks here where DeepSeek outperform Intern and Quen vision models as it is in top in the charts. As, as you can see here, the demo was released on 6th of February. And we just have the VL small model, you cannot access the tiny one and the regular model. So let's go and actually try this out. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Hoshim Reyes and we're finally going to test out DeepSeek VL2. And as I told you earlier, we just have the access to the small model right now. And hopefully they'll be releasing the regular and the tiny model as well. First off, I want to go through the interface. So we have the chatbot here. So here's where the conversation is going to be happening. We can enter a prompt here and send it or stop the prompt we can drop our images here and in the gallery we'll see the images that we upload as well as we can toggle some parameters settings and we can toggle the model for now it is only vl2 small and we have some examples here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with a meme so i have an image from internet which is this simpsons meme and i wanted to explain the humor in the image And let's go and send it and as you can see it might take some time and there you go you have the results it went on and explained the humor so this image is a meme that uses a scene from the simpsons and it is a relationship between two experts in the technology field metaverse and ai so it went on and explained the meme in detail and gave us an overall meaning so the meme depicts that how one field which is metaverse may become less significant or fade away while another ai field takes over so this is how the meme goes and it did a pretty good job at explaining the meme now as for the second test i wanted to find out what kind of animal there is in that image this image is kind of blurred so i'm just gonna go and ask it what animal is in the image and let's see how powerful the vision capabilities of DeepSeek VL2 small are so there you go you have the results as you can see it is an antelope and if I can show you, yes, it is an antelope. As for the third test, is going to be a doctor's prescription. As you all know, it's hard to understand and read a doctor's prescription. So I'm just going to go and ask it, what are the medicines in the image and how to use them? That's it. Let's go and hit send. So there you go. We have the results. And yes, it was augmented. It's an antibiotic. And as you can see, it even tells us the usage and the purpose so it is an antibiotic used to treat bacterial infection. There you go. Then there's enzoflam, pandy, and then there is hexagel gum paint massage. So that's really great. And if you can see the image, you can see that this is augmentum, enzoflam, pandy, and the gum paint massage here. And you can even see how many days and how we're going to take it. And it summarized all of that. So take one tablet after meals once daily for five days this is really powerful so this was my third test in the fourth test i wanted to write down the contents of an image so write down the text from the image so this is more like converting handwritten notes into pdfs or text documents and there you go we have the results so 
Demi says, once a week, you should write a note to someone, not an email, a note on a piece of paper. It did a pretty good job. It's exactly the same as in the image. So this was a pass again. Now for the next test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this image and I'm going to ask it to tell me what is written on these two jars at the back on the top shelf. So let's go and do that. So I dropped my image here. Now next thing is the prompt. So what is written? Jars on the top shelf at the back. There you go. Let's go and send this. I'm hoping that DeepSeek VL2 small is going to surprise me. So let's just wait for the results. And there you go, we have the result. And as you can see, and as you can see, it gave the response. The text Marrakesh Express can be seen clearly printed across two of the jars located towards the upper part of the shelving. So let's actually confirm this in the image. And as you can see, it actually went on and analyzed this part and gave us this text which is really good. And with that said, I think DeepSeek VL is going to be another giant in the open source market for the vision models. And don't forget that this is a mixture of experts. So DeepSeek VL2 Small did a great job at all of our tests, but I have a final test for this in which I'm going to give it a flowchart and it's going to create the code for a number guessing game. And I found this flowchart over the internet. So I'm just gonna go and say, write the code for the flowchart in the image let's send this there you go so it's going to generate the code and for us to actually process this code i'm just gonna go and open up my ide so there you go we have the result let's just copy the code i'm just gonna go back to my code editor let's save that and let's run this python code so there you go it says welcome to the number guessing game i'm thinking of a number between 1 to 100 so guess the number I'm just going to go and say this is 60. It's saying it's too high. So I'm just going to go with let's say 40. And this is too low. So 50 maybe. This is also too low. Let's try 55. It is too high. So it's between 55. Still too high. Too low. So it is 52. So after a couple of tries, I found the right number, which is 52. And it gave me a congratulations message. And I have won this in seven attempts. So this code is quite good. And I like it. And it is written very clean. So this was a pass again and all in all, DeepSeek VL2 Small did an absolutely fantastic job at our tests and I'm really excited about its actual release once they release this into the market. It is only available for demo or download on their GitHub or on their Hugging Face. So with that said, I want to wrap this video up. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.